Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkin Purse. I'm just at the beach. Can you tell? <laughs> Look around. So I won't. I'm gonna do a review today of the new Lenovo X1 Nano. Okay, so I'm at the beach. As you can see, it's beautiful. I'm here in North Carolina. Got all my working devices here. My X1. Phones. I got my extended screen. I got the battery uh, back up so it's charging through the pass-through on the back of the screen around and charging my X1 Nano. But <laughs> for now, I can take that away. Uh, I'll leave these here on the side and let's focus just on this beautiful thing. So this is the top of the line X1 Nano. Got all the best features. So uh, it's got the um, Core i7 1180G7 processor. So it's a pretty unique processor. Um, and but what I was really impressed with is I finally did a uh, Nova Bench test. So I'm going to run that while we talk a little bit more about it. Uh, go down to Nova Bench here. We'll pop that open. It's a touch screen model, which is awesome. So let's see that come up here, and we'll do start test. We'll let that run. For those of you who have seen this before, it's just getting started. It'll show us the processor. It's going to have the i7 uh, G processor like we talked about. So that's not the U, not the H. It's the G processor. Pretty unique uh, for this solution. Uh, again, the ports are a real talking point. Just the three ports here in the whole laptop. So headphone jack and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. That's it. It's maxed out with 16 gig of memory in this thing. Uh, no other ports anywhere else on the laptop. Just a fan, the power, and if you get the, um, uh, come with either 4G or 5G um, WLAN. So that would be back here. This one doesn't have the WLAN. It does have the touch. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the right choice. I love touch in my laptops, uh, especially if it's a yoga. This is just a kind of lay flat, super thin, 1.99 pound laptop. A little bit heavier, it adds a couple ounces for the touch screen, and you get this glossy screen, which I really love the matte screen. But uh, here's the thing that's amazing. So if you check this out, look at this, a 2182 on the on the uh, Nova Bench score, that is incredible. 1286 on CPU, the RAM 286, the GPU loses a little bit at 403, and then the disk is uh, 207. So just to give you guys a sense of where we were, last year on the 10th gen Intel processors, we were getting scores around, uh, you know, 16, 1800 with the full, um, 10th gen U pro i7U processor. This is the 11th gen uh, G processor. And even with the G, we're getting a 2182 score, which is incredible. So I'm really delighted with the speed of this thing. 13 inch screen. Uh, the keyboard, One. some people have noticed online, and I've noticed it too, the keys have a little bit less travel. That is surprisingly noticeable, uh, but I love it. This is a fantastic laptop super thin and light, great for traveling to the beach. Um, so I think that's it. I'm gonna leave it here. Loved having this with me. Love a two pound laptop. Maybe get a vista of the beach here in North Carolina and we'll end uh, with that. So thank you everybody for joining. Thanks for uh, watching all your fun. Stay safe and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye everybody.